web interface. First, you want to go back to the IP software, and you need to make sure that you have some layouts programmed. Under the tree, it's all layouts, and if it's gray like this, there's no cameras assigned to it. This one is green. We have cameras assigned to it. What you do is you'll click on layouts, click pick the layout that you want. This is just a two megapixel. Right click, go to properties, then you'll see a tree again. You can name it whatever you want. And then here's the cameras that are online. So this is the two megapixel. So you will select that camera. Now it is assigned to that layout. Now it will be green. And then the four camera layout, the same thing. Go to properties. You see we have the two cameras hooked up. You can also adjust the order of the cameras if you want. Default is one, two, three, four. Same thing for five megapixel. We're going to put our five megapixel here. Takes a second. And now these are the layouts that you will see through the web client. Open up Internet Explorer. It only we only support Internet Explorer right now. It is coming for Firefox and Chrome in late October. If you're on the local server, you see you can type in HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash localhost semicolon the default port, web port is 8080 forward slash the username we're Velux on the server 2 megapixel PTZ which is not up right now the 5 megapixel so the one camera we added is there click on it there is that full screen view of this that 5 megapixel there's the 2 megapixel there's the full screen view of the 2 megapixel or the 4 camera layout Of course, we only have two cameras, so you just see the two cameras. Okay. Result now. High speed. Slow. Okay. Now, if you're accessing this externally, you would need to know what your external IP address of your server is. Normally, you would get that from your network administrator or your IT guy. Our external IP address is 97.75. Dot one two three. See, it's already right here. This is if you access the server server from outside of your office. Sometimes it takes a second or two to load.